What's good, everyone? Welcome back to Good Influences, your favorite weekly podcast episodes every Tuesday at noon Pacific time. Dude, I feel like some people don't know that we post at the same time every single week. I feel like I still see when we first upload, it's like, oh my God, I've been waiting all day or like, wow, it's my favorite oh. part of the day. Maybe people just don't pay attention and they just I, like I, check I, throughout the day and they're like, oh, finally. Yes. Yeah, so I just want to make it very clear. We post every Tuesday at noon Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern. NP. What time is that in London? How are you uh, not freezing? 8 10? p.m. I don't, I don't know. In London? Seven? <laughs> I don't know. Um, We're Americans. We don't know about other Also, countries. shout out to the audio listeners still going strong after all these years. We, we hear you. We see after you. All we appreciate time. you. We do not You're see valid. them, but they hear us. Yeah, that's yes. it. Okay. <laughs> um, you can't see, see us either. In spirit. <laughs> if, it, if it's helpful, if you have some free time, leave us a review. Five stars. Leave us a nice comment. We love reading your comments. In, on uh, Instagram, follow us on Instagram. Shoot us an email if you want to chat with us. Just getting all the fun stuff out of the way. Yeah. Why did you look at me? Because like we love reading the comments. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> I need to be very vulnerable and brave right now. Let's oh. hear it. I. <laughs> okay, Brene Brown. I, She's being, Carly, Carly's being very vulnerable this week. Don't laugh at her. Please don't laugh at my vulnerability. This is a safe space. Very Carly. serious. Right, let's hear it, lady. <laughs> Mike, this is actually like you're gonna feel bad. Uh oh. Wait, wait. Is it not? Oh, I thought you were gonna tell us about. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Well, I left my phone. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. I don't have my phone for this whole time. We're here for hours. And I honestly am more bummed because I had a lot of information for our next episode on it. Well, the good news is I got a bigger phone. <laughs> I got a bigger one to really make people mad. What is, is that? An iPad mini? Yeah. yeah little baby. They're so cute. That is pretty sick. <laughs> because I thought it would be easier. It's an since iPod Touch. Like <laughs> Max. Yeah. <laughs> iPod Pro Max. No, I think it's like two of my cell phones. That's pretty sick. Yeah. It's great. And so I got it for our podcast and this podcast because I do a lot of the like grabbing all of the little stories and stuff. And it's mm -hmm. so difficult to read it on my phone. Yeah. And on mine and Carly's podcast, I've just been sitting with a laptop on my lap. Oh, so I was like. This seems nice. And then maybe people will take me more professionally because I get really upset when I just have a phone and, and fact matching check. There you go. Sweatpants, sweatsuit combination. Yeah, I'm also wearing this for both episodes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've been sick all week, so I'm well, not you, here. Oh, you, here. You ate a snail. Yeah. You know how so, we were talking about the snails? Oh, heard about this yesterday, last night. Who told me? Because oh, I, I didn't you. see I you guys. It. Oh, oh, yes. Telling people my personal business. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry you. for violating hip hop. Oh, wait, uh, what so did you say? Did you try escargot or did you eat a snail after, of, like, like off from the a sidewalk? <laughs> yeah, so I, like, yeah I picked it up it. off the street. No, I was eating escargot, but it was in like a little Shell? like bun thing. Oh. Like it was cooked into the food. At a gas station or? No, at Manetta. <laughs> at, 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 a at a Wawa. <laughs> um, at a very nice restaurant, thank you. And at a wee -wee? Um, I have been violently ill ever oh, since. I'm and so I think sorry. that, yeah, it's a shellfish for sure. What? Yeah. And the weird thing is. We did bring this up on the podcast, yep. and then it fucking happened. Yep. So we are the manifestation just another podcast. thing. It came just true. another thing. I even um, made a TikTok about it. I sorry, think. I didn't mean to invalidate your. Cell it's phone fine. Loss. It's fine. <laughs> Do you want to tell the people what happened? I don't know what happened. You just left it in your car. It must be my car, aka my car still unlocked. Hopefully, like there was a way we could know. Yeah. But aren't you like happy yes. that you were so in tuned on the ride over with Aaron that you didn't? Once I was doing check manual labor on the she way was here. I was at, I was putting her nails on, oh. so I was actually she <laughs> doing work. She had to glue these ones on. <laughs> glue them on. What are they yeah. like? Lee press on nails? Or? No, they're actually Gel X, but these two fell off, and I simply just don't have the time to get them done. So she was brave enough to. Yeah. Do you don't have the with. time to get them done, so you do it on your commute to good influences? <laughs> no, <laughs> she had the nail glue. No, she doesn't have time to go in and like get them all redone. How uh, much, so how much the glue in the nails on There's usually DIY? no glue involved normally. Okay. <laughs> These are just like I regular. <laughs> I know, how much so is funny. that? How much is the glue? Like how much is your set when you go get your nails so done? So expensive um, being a woman. I don't so really expensive. know because I normally get my pedicure and my manicure. I get a gel man pedicure. Okay. <laughs> you know what that means? <laughs> Whatever that means. Gel, okay, gel. gel and acrylics. Gel. Different. Gel and regular manicure. Regular manicure is just like regular polish. Gel is the one you like cook in a light and okay. then it like will not peel for two yeah. weeks. And it's great. Oh, great. And I can gel. normally go like a month with both. Yeah. My toes can go longer, but I just like getting a pedicure for fun. The massage. <laughs> um, and normally together, I think they're both like 110. Ooh, which how is often like, do you have to do that? I do it like every month. 110 bucks. Yeah. I do like a nice uh, pedicure. Yeah. Where you, hate, you go you in. You hate and my feet right now. 
Oh, well, I not, see what you mean. Where you just go into <laughs> the place and they like put your feet in the warm water and then they they massage. Yeah, they massage. Yeah, they go, cut it, cut all the dead like skin off. Crevices. That's really yeah. the, the only reason I get pedicures is for the massage. The massage. I can do my own toenails. Like no and their problem. Seats are yeah. But, yo, but I, I'm ticklish on my feet. I'm always worried I'm going to be like boom. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, right they in their face. Always laugh because I'm like my feet like curl when oh, they yeah. do the little oh. thing. Yeah. And they laugh at my tattoos on my feet. Oh yeah. Here's my question. Are you the asshole? Part two, everybody. <laughs> Boom! Coming we, back. Yeah, we didn't get around to a lot of them last there was time, so some confusion. Yeah, so I feel like we can. And there was good chats. We yeah. were having, yeah. we were vibing. So many good chats. I do hope that the Taylor Swift ADA tickets girl saw the responses. Yes. Oh what my is god. Taylor Swift ADA. There was a girl who bought tickets to like the. The, oh, the yes, section the of yeah, <laughs> yes, and I hope I, I, I American Disabilities. Act. Yes, <laughs> that that was the comment section. ADA, and then Mike and Aaron. Oh suck. yeah, people <laughs> didn't like us. And Carly's last week. so cute. <laughs> <laughs> I like yeah. that there's at least one monochrome person per episode. It seems like it's now a, a default requirement for the show. Too, yeah, I so. can do next week <laughs> wardrobe. Yeah, I can. I can. Oh me, I'm the monochrome. I was yeah. Like, Who? <laughs> uh, but we have so many more submissions from you guys that we didn't get to last so week. So. Many. All um, of you assholes out there. All right. you assholes. Potential are, assholes. Are crazy listeners. It's also fun because like I did all of these a couple weeks ago and now I don't remember them. So it'll oh, be like fun. perfect. Reading fresh. Perfect. So these were submitted by you guys. So it's real people. We yeah. can also get updates. And hopefully if you were a submitter, Why? this is helpful. Um, <laughs> okay. When I was 10 years old, my aunt came to visit my family from the Dominican Republic. She, are, I'm just visualizing. He's, oh, okay. he's, he's really like, like close my eyes because like I'll start. it's hard to like. Pick, he's yeah. like, eh, well, wake me up when it's over. <laughs> <laughs> well, I saw your hands doing this, so I thought you needed one to say something else. Setting the scene. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Um, when she got to the U.S., we threw her a welcome party. At that welcome party, she slapped three of my family members. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't remember this. <laughs> didn't see that coming. And not just a slap, a bitch slap. And after slapping them, told them they deserved it. All for different reasons. Example, one person got slapped because they got caught stealing at the mall. Stupid reasons like that. Well, she's holding them accountable. <laughs> anyway, this is where I come in. One day, me, my dad, my mom, and my crazy aunt went to the mall. I hadn't eaten yet that day, so I asked my mom for McDonald's. She agreed and told me to wait after shopping at a few more stores. I want to preface that I was a chubby 10-year-old. Anyway, when we were in a fitting room, me, mom, crazy aunt, asked my mom again about McDonald's. My aunt went crazy. She shook me and said, "You sh in all caps, you shouldn't be eat asking for McDonald's. You're too fat to eat that. Then bitch slapped me. I started bawling my eyes out and crying and screaming for my dad. My dad was the only per person she was actually scared of. I wouldn't stop crying and screaming, so she sat me down, got on her knees, begged me not to tell my dad, took my sock off, <laughs> and what <laughs> took <laughs> just one put it put it in her mouth and sucked my big toe <gasps> in the mall why she <laughs> next to the zoomies like, in the what? mall <laughs> why she sucked my toe i have no idea because she's a freak i assume that was her way of apologizing later that night i heard her on the phone laughing with someone i assume a family member and she says i know who to slap and who not to while chuckling Anyway, after that moment, I never spoke another word again to her. I am now 27. <laughs> my crazy aunt is coming back to town. I haven't seen her since, and my dad wants me to forgive her and act like nothing happened. But I won't. She scarred me for life. <laughs> she scarred me for life and gave me body dysmorphia. Plus, I hate when people touch my feet because of her. Am I the asshole? Um, she assaulted her. No, yeah, like, that's kind of. Quiet on like, set, assaulted episode two. Is, okay. <laughs> Adios, Tia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Do, that's crazy. I wonder, sorry for talking about getting pedicures earlier. That's, oh. <laughs> but, I yeah, mean, I'm sorry. didn't know that that was going to be a story oh, coming up. She is not the asshole. All respect to her boundaries. Oh, yeah. But I would like some tea to follow up. Just put a, uh, totally. put a camera in your little pocket of your shirt. Be like, do you remember that time you slapped <laughs> me and sucked my toe? Yeah, like call I, in Chris Harrison. Yeah, I want to see... Has she changed at all? Does she remember? Does she regret it? Is she still slapping people in yeah. 2024? And like, is, is she getting aunt? away with it? Uh-huh. That's 
not okay. Yeah. If anyone sucked my toe, I would be like, Is that a huh? Dominican Republic thing? Like, you I need to I apologize to someone? I don't by think so. I'm really sorry if I would say anyone. that. But I don't think it is. I don't think that's a cultural thing. She took her sock off and sucked her toe. She was only 10. Also, just that is weird slapping a kid across the face for asking for McDonald's is insane. Why and why are the parents inviting her back? She slapped three people at the party. <laughs> it's like their child's big toe. Yeah. Well, uh, did she did, did she tell her parents that? I don't the big know. Toe got she didn't sucked? really make it clear, but her dad said to forgive her. But I'm not sure what she disclosed to him. Mm. Like she could. I just think you be need like, to tell your whole family this woman is crazy. She yes. Slapped everybody when I was a little kid. She slapped me when I was a little kid. Sucked my toes. She's a fucking psychopath. I will not be in the same room as her. Stay yeah. on your ground. I, tell people. Yeah. Tell people about it. Yeah. And you're still like suffering from trauma. Yeah. Maybe try some therapy. Could help to work through some of that if you can. A hundred percent. Because that sounds really traumatic and not good and not cool. Um, if your Tia wants to come on the podcast, we'll give her a good talking to. Yeah, I would. I would actually just love to hear her point of view. What? Uh, me too. <laughs> There's both sides to every story. <laughs> no, I just want to be like, what is going on? She Why do you hate McDonald's? <laughs> and yeah. set, up, set up a cam for like the I next do. party if she thinks like she's going to slap people again. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Catch she, her. She comes, sucks all her big toes. Yeah. No, <laughs> they, go, they go get a petty. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, that's, uh, that's, that's pretty traumatic. Crazy. And you're not an asshole by any means for not wanting to be near a family member that assaulted you when you were a child. That's fucking weird. That's like the most not an asshole thing you could ever say like you are so normal for feeling that way yeah it's, Agreed. it's so frustrating the stuff that happens to you when like you're 10 and as you get older you don't realize how weird it is until you get older yeah, yeah that's true you're like what the hell was that i remember that <laughs> clear as day and you have you hold you she probably didn't tell anybody for the longest time yeah, yeah. there's a lot of shame too with stuff yeah. like that when you're a kid especially yeah. i mean any age but because you think like, oh, her sucking the toe is, like, the form of like, punishment is better than her telling, like, your parents. She, she right said in... that the sucking the toe was her form of an apology, <laughs> which is even more well, Maybe, I mean, what probably happened is some way <laughs> more just on the loose fucked up shit toes. happened to Tia when she was a kid. Yeah. Like, growing up in the 60s or whatever, she probably had some weird I'd shit post happening. Her, I'd, po I'd make a TikTok, be like, if you see this lady, she will suck your big toe. <laughs> <laughs> like, be careful of this lady. Yeah. Maybe Green just screen. start like putting like a weird flavor thing on your toes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Put, pour some uh, Tabasco sauce yeah. on your toes. Before. Get but back then she's at like, her. ooh, it tastes good. Be like, Auntie, you want to or like rat suckle? Oh, right. Well, don't don't commit murder. Okay. Well, she didn't consent to her <laughs> if she did sucking it twice, her toe. I feel like it's warranted. I don't yeah. know if murder sanctioned. She but... had it coming. Pop, pop, pop. She had it coming. Pop, six, suck, toe, <laughs> Cicero, <laughs> lip shit. Next year on Broadway. Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> okay. She said something like that, right? Oh, tic tac toe. Tic tac toe. Oh, I was yeah. doing a reference to Chicago. I know. Yeah. It just reminded me of the it. The Broadway show? Yeah. Because when she goes, he, she pop, had it. Pop, six, swish, aha, Cicero, Cicero lip shit. Shits. He had it coming. Ha, ha, ha. He, he had, had it coming. coming. I've never seen Chicago. Me what? Either. How do you know, know the songs the to movie? a musical you've never seen? Because Aaron used to sing it all the time. I'm into theater. <laughs> Wait, the movie? <laughs> no, with Catherine Zeta Jones and Renee Zellweger. Haven't sat oh, around and watched it. Oh, you got to watch it. Yeah. It's like iconic master. Scene. John C. Riley. It's iconic. John I really C. want to see Riley's it. in Chicago? He is. Wow. Do you guys see this Jerry Seinfeld movie that's coming out? Get out no. of here. Who's he, playing Jerry? He, well, it's it's called Unfrosted, and it's the story of Pop-Tarts in the 1960s, how no they got made. No way. And That's Bill cool. Burr's playing John F. Kennedy. They got uh, Jim Gaffigan, and like oh, Seinfeld fun. is like the executive who in the 60s is like, we got to make the Pop-Tart. I'm so excited. Oh, Wait, I'm wow. Cool. Yeah. Is that like coming out in theaters? Uh, Netflix May 3rd, oh, I think. Great. Oh, great. Cool. Slay, Nettie. That'll be a Sorry, good I saw it this morning. I just got so excited. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. That's fun. Somebody. Okay. About a year ago, a random person from high school DM'd me a Reddit post about a man looking for a fun, slutty, hot people. The page <laughs> includes nudes, a general location, and specific details on what they wanted sexually. What threw me off was the man promoting himself. What threw me off was the man promoting himself was one of my best friend's boyfriend. Oh. Let's call my friend Mary and the man Robert. Mary and Robert had been dating for years at this point. On this page, it had the general location where Mary and Robert lived. Pictures included their apartment in the background. And he was looking for fun on nights I know Mary wasn't home. 
Well, I am in shock and obviously need to tell Mary. This is a lot of info, so I have to include our mutual friend, Valerie. Valerie is also in shock and agrees I need to tell Mary. I get up the courage, call her up and explain, and oh. even send her the link. When she goes to click on the link, the page is gone. Prior to our phone call, at this point, Mary and Robert, Robert moved, so I had no choice but to do it over the phone. Mary told... Wait, it's Roberto now. Okay. We changed to Roberto. <laughs> Mary told Roberto that I was calling to talk to Roberto. her. His real name is probably Roberto. And she's like, I know a good fake name, Robert. Robert. And then she just forgot. <laughs> she's <laughs> name. Like up here, it was Robert. Then it changed to Roberto. And I was like, oh, spelling error. Roberto's but listening now to it's this still like, still Roberto. that's me. <laughs> Um, Mary told Roberto that I was calling to talk to her about something private and needed her to be alone when I told her, essentially giving him a heads up. Luckily, I have screenshots of the page. I send them. Mary's obviously in shock, but goes straight to denial. She hangs up to confront Roberto. He lies, of course, and she believes him. I later get a follow-up phone call from Mary, and it wasn't to thank me. She accused me of being a jealous friend who she couldn't believe I would actually believe he would do something like that. I explained my... Sorry. I explained my intentions were good and I was concerned for her. She completely blamed me and didn't speak to me for months. Her wedding is coming up, uh -oh. so she wanted to clear the <gasps> air, so finally talked with me. She forgave me and informed me she would still love if I attended their wedding. Am I the asshole for not wanting to go? Am I the asshole in general? Should I have kept that info to myself? I still feel conflicted about it. No screenshots? Right. She, take the damn screenshot. Right. Sometimes Wait. when you're seeing No, she did say screenshots. She oh, but yeah. she, the post was deleted. Yeah, but but she, she said, had a screenshot yes. though of all of it. She and then showed. she sent it to her. Well then she's just dumb. Yeah. yeah. I mean We're if, not, you're, if like you right see there. the apartment and the pictures in your apartment are like in the photo, it's that's undeniable. Proof. And there's a picture of the guy. Probably, yeah. In in yeah, a random said, person I had from screenshots in a random person from that. her middle school <laughs> saw this and knew that she was friends with them and reached out and That's told what her it about like. it. Yeah, I guess because he just could figure it out that it was this person. No, I don't think you're an asshole for like just not wanting to, to go to the wedding. Oh, and even just I sharing this with yeah, like that's <clears throat> I don't know. People, I, people always want to kill the messenger, which I do think is like just a human instinct thing, but it's just not right. I'm surprised yeah. Roberto's cool with like inviting her when she was like a. Uh, He's just looking for a good time with some sluts, right? <laughs> Before he Before seals roll. the deal. He's looking to suck some toes. Yeah, yeah. A rubber toe. I yeah. don't think Dude, that I'm you were. I'm telling you, she was like, I know a good pseudonym, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back after a quick word from today's sponsor, Stamps.com. When you're making decisions for your company, you're always looking for the no-brainers. And if you have a lot of mailing and shipping to do, Stamps.com is the obvious choice for a reason. It streamlines your processes and makes your business more efficient, freeing you up to focus on the bigger decisions. The Stamps.com mobile app is like having a post office in your pocket wherever you are. All you need is a computer and a printer, and they even send you a free scale. You can easily schedule pickups through your Stamps.com dashboard, and you automatically see your cheapest and fastest shipping options from different carriers. You can mail checks, invoices, legal documents, books, and everything you need to keep your business running. Seamlessly connect with every major marketplace and shopping cart if you sell online. You can access USPS and UPS mail services you need to run your business right from your computer or phone at any time, day or night, no traffic, no waiting. And what I love are the crazy discounts that are on stamps.com. You can get rates that you cannot find anywhere else, like up to 89% off of USPS and UPS. You can order shipping and mailing supplies, labels, and even printers from the supply store when you run low. So make the same no-brainer decision as over 1 million other businesses with stamps.com. Sign up with promo code G-I-P-O-D for a special offer that includes a four-week trial, plus free postage, and a free digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to stamps.com, click the microphone at the top of the page, and enter code G-I-P-O-D. And now, back to the episode. Robert no one will put it together. It's actually but really sad that... Like, you have to be in such denial to see proof like that and be like, no. I know. Like, that's yeah. sad. It's either that or she just already knows he's, like, up to no good and it's like, whatever. But and to then kind of cut you off. Yeah. That's sad. I mean, yeah. props to her boundaries. If she doesn't want to go to the wedding, she doesn't have to go to the wedding. Yeah, but... 
But get the free you food. Could, I don't know. You Go could and object still... and then print out the screenshots and hold them up when uh, they're out. Do not do that. <laughs> then you'll be the asshole. Do not do yeah, that. No, don't obviously don't do that, but that would be funny. <laughs> that would be hilarious. No, uh, do it. No, <laughs> but I don't know. Go. I say go to the wedding, though. Just Why? go look them in the eye and just be like, mm. just be. Looking but then she's like spending her <laughs> money, her time, her energy oh, on like a loser. Facts, actually, yeah. Go save your money. Don't go to the wedding. And let's go like buy town. yourself a nice bag. Yeah, <laughs> I just like a wedding. <laughs> yeah, I, know. I don't care about the drama. <laughs> Give me on that dance floor, and yeah. I just want to rock out. To some Let free... me go to the bar, order a couple Jack and Cokes. <laughs> yeah, have some. What do they call it? The shit that they cut. The cake? No, the, the, they always have some meat that they're always cutting. Like beef or yeah, huh? okay, it's got some, some name. Roast prime, beef. Roast beef. Or, yeah, one of those prime things. Rib or yeah, one of them. Oh, uh, no, it's at every wedding. There's always some chef with like the knife cutting. Some no, meat. I know. I'm saying it's it's funny because like for us it's normal. Oh, Not yeah. me? Huh? I don't go to weddings where they're doing that. Yeah, they're under like Many a big times. heat lamp. Yeah. There's a oh, guy with like a chef wedding. hat. Did they? Yeah. 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 There's always just some guy cutting meat. That's like what I think about weddings. <laughs> That's what I think That's about. That's true. There's always some guy cutting meat. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Damn. No, you're, you're not the asshole. No. Although it would be. It, no. She's just. That's so sad. That girl is like crazy in denial about it. Yeah, like, what, if she, what if she went to him with the photos instead of her to see what he would have to say? Oh, blackmail. <laughs> no, not blackmail, but just be like, hey, I saw this. Like, what is this? Ugh, it's so annoying that the girl gave her boyfriend a heads up. I know. Just to privately speak with me tonight. Well, good luck. Also, how right. dumb is this fucking guy to like post pictures with like yeah. the incriminating stuff in the background? I know. Like, if you're going to be shitty, yeah. like at least like be that, good at it. Yeah, be good at it. Like, yeah. take it somewhere. Do a green screen. I don't know. Take it somewhere that no one can tell. And I feel like no just like jewelry like that <laughs> boomers are always getting caught doing shit like this too, like on Facebook oh, or yeah. like there's the whole website, Ashley, Ashley Madison. Madison. Like, yeah. Well, let me sign up for a website. That can't come back to hurt me. Like, <laughs> yeah. let me put my first and last name on a database for people who cheat on their spouses. No, That's still in business, right? I Ashley Madison? So. I think yeah, so. Yeah, it was at the horse race. And the guy next Backwards. to me in the urinal was like sitting there with his phone <gasps> Go off, on Ashley please. Madison. I was like, what the fuck? Get your bread. Who? Ashley Madison? Ashley and Madison. And every other female. <laughs> empowering women. Happy Women's Month. Okay. Women's Month? Yeah. Happy Women's Month. Is oh, it? Yeah. Not, not for them, but for us, yeah. Wait, it's ne March is National Women's International Month? International Women's Month. How many times do we have to do this? He's a man. He'll never remember. I mean, I feel like it's, it's International enough. Women's Day, National Women's Month, Women's <laughs> History Month. Like, and, and what? You're welcome. It's enough and, already. And, and Hanukkah, <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> no, y'all got the most holidays. Jews? Yeah. Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Am I the asshole for not refunding a girl on a bachelorette trip? Oh, oh we right. already love it. Harry. Bachelorette parties. I was maid of honor and planned a pretty low-key, inexpensive bachelorette trip for the bride and her friends. We were driving to the mountains in our home state and just doing a cozy cabin vibe. I planned everything back in late October slash November, and the trip was in late January. I asked everyone to send their portion of the Airbnb, one fifty each for the full stay, 15 girls total. And other deposits like snow tubing activity was $38 each um, due by the end of December. We also were having a private chef coming to the house, but I was asking for that payment after the trip. Everyone was all in and paid for tubing in the house, and it was split perfectly. All of a sudden, the day I'm leaving for the Airbnb to set up, everyone was coming the next day. One of the girls told me she's sorry she wasn't going to be able to make it, and something came up for work. She had months to take PTO, complete said project, or do other things to make it. She also committed early on and was still, agree was still agreeable weeks prior when I double-checked everyone was still in. During the trip, she's texting me asking for her money back for the house and the tubing. I didn't answer all weekend because I didn't have the energy, but responded when I got home. I told her I wasn't going to refund her because she had plenty of time to bail out, etc., and she chose the day of. She then proceeded to say it was unfair and shitty of me not to refund her just because she couldn't go and she believes she shouldn't have to pay for something she didn't attend. I compared it to real life stuff like missing a flight or missing a concert, how you don't just get refunded and there are such things as non-refundable deposits. 
After I told her no and explained it's not fair for me to pay for her portion slash not fair to charge the other girls more, she said, I would never expect the other girls to cover my stay. So she's indirectly saying she wanted me to eat the cost. Oh, <gasps> bitch. Oh, Am no, I no, the no. asshole for not refunding her or is this normal? Absolutely not. Key piece of this is I want to know what the bachelorette thinks about it because this is the maid of honor, right? Yeah. The one who planned that she planned the trip. Well, also that last little tidbit where she's it like, well, yeah, you're the one who planned it. So you need to yeah. refund me. That's like, I think kind of speaks to her whole character that this woman is just entitled and doesn't understand consequences. You can't bail the day of. Yeah. Even even if things were refundable, like that's now extra work that the woman who planned this needs to do and like is not being compensated for. Absolutely fucking yeah, not. Yeah, I was on a bachelor trip and one of my uh, good friends, he was the groom, one of his buddies just did not show up like oh and he was so last minute thinking he was going to do it he still had to pay his portion yeah yeah on a trip like that when things are in a group setting and like yeah you're but bu like maybe they could have gotten a different house if they knew she wasn't going to join or they would have gotten a different totally. dinner reservation that would have been yeah. like no especially the day of no Maybe if you were like two weeks out, you're like, hey, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna be able to make it. And enough time yeah. is like ahead, sure. But I also would have like told all the other girls at the bachelorette party, like, get this bit. It's no. like Brittany <laughs> is thinking that I have to pay it. What do y'all think? And they'd be like, no, that's ridiculous. Yeah, I wouldn't do it. And be like, all the, the girls here agree. Because I wouldn't want to like take away from the bride. But that's uh, good gossip. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if it became the whole focus, don't take up over an also, hour talking about it. Can I just ask? It was $150. Plus the, other money plus or thirty eight dollars. So can I just do some quick math here? So like one hundred and ninety dollars. Well, what was the house? Wait, what? So wait, it was one fifty plus thirty eight. Mm-hmm. So one fifty plus thirty eight is one eighty eight. So each person paid one eighty eight. So if she wanted to get a refund, that's dividing it by the remaining fourteen people. She's really asking for thirteen dollars and forty cents from every person. Yeah, but it's the principal. I. That's where I'm. It's like. I would, for the sake of just not having to deal with this argument, be yeah. like, fuck it, I'll just pay for it. And I don't know other people's, obviously, financial circumstances, like $13. Could be a lot. Could be, yeah. That's like, and you save up and you don't want to refund that. So, like, I see both sides of it, but I think the way that she acted, like, entitled and not compromising and, like, no, absolutely not. providing not. a solution, right. too. If right. you realize that you have to bail out last minute for something... Like, I don't know, provide a solution. Think of yeah. what the consequence is of how you're going to be able to cover Like if you bought butt. a ticket to Disneyland with four people and the morning of you're like, sorry, I can't go. Disney's not just, I mean, maybe Disney has a refund policy, but like <laughs> yeah. it's not, yeah, you just, you missed, yeah. you missed it. Sorry. I had to cancel yeah. on a friend. I was supposed, thought I was going to go to Dallas to go see or Austin to go see a concert. And I realized I just can't do it. Even though we had bought the tickets, I told my friend way in advance, I can't go. Try to resell the tickets, even if they go at a lower value. Yeah, get some I will money cover back. the difference of what it is. And I text all of that in the text initially. So you're providing a solution yeah. to yeah. you bailing yes. out. But indirectly just being like, can't come. Yeah, yeah. don't make Where's it other money? people's problems, especially the day of and then demanding it. Like, there's just so many things that this other girl did wrong. Texting while you're on The Bachelorette. Like, Rude. Yeah, rude. Let them have their fun. Don't nickel and dime for $13 from every person. I thought you were or, busy working. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Working on these numbers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I think if it were me, it's like I would never expect to get a refund. If I had to cancel last minute, I'd be like, well, I actually did this exact thing. What did you do? Oh, I. You were the bitchy girl. I was like, yes, I'm coming on this bachelorette trip, but it, but it was planned like far in advance. And then mm -hmm. the time it came up, I was like, I'm not going to be able to make this work. Yeah. Because it was in Canada. And like schedule is crazy. And I was like, I just like don't think I'm going to be able to go there. Were you a bridesmaid? No, she didn't have any. Oh, okay. Um, but so I paid for like the portion of the house because I was like, I'm not going to do that to people. And then I even put like a little extra money to be like, buy like a nice bottle of champagne. Like, I'm so sorry. I can't make it. That's yes, nice. That's yeah. the way to do it. When Matt and I went to Palm Springs for Ella's birthday, they got a house, mm -hmm. three nights. We drove home one of the nights when everyone else stayed over. But we're not like, hey, can you refund us for the night yeah, we didn't sleep yeah. in the house? Oh, like, like yeah. these are decisions you make. Yes, exactly. Yeah. You have to just, when you're in a group setting, you do what the group is doing. I do think like if the circumstances were like, 
a crazy family emergency or like a pet emergency or like something awful happened. Like I, I could understand like more so like, oh, well now I need this money to like yeah. help my pet or mm. whatever. Yeah. Right. Like I think people would be more it's very understanding. Circumstantial. But, it, but yeah. this is like the expectation of also like, no, don't ask all the other girls. Why don't you just refund me my 150 out of you? Like, no, that's what? crazy. No. Grow Show up. her this segment of the podcast, yeah. please. That's Let, entitlement. Let's hear her perspective because imagine it's just completely different. She's like, I gave her plenty of time. Heads up. I even offered. We, we like, need to set up like three-way phone call conversations I, where we like loop them in. Like, like hey, more you're on good Come on in, Kayla. Wait, have you seen those? Um, oh, it's like a radio station that calls and pretends that they're sending flowers. Yes. Yes. Oh, I mm, love can you tell? I don't know what this is. Okay. So this woman will call. They'll have like a female on who suspects that she's getting cheated on by her partner. And okay. then they then have her on a three-way call secretly with the guy. And the woman is calling, pretending to be this new flower shop. The okay. radio station is yeah. pretending. Okay. And they're like, hey, like we're just going to do a quick survey. And we're like sending out free flowers. Like wanted to see if you <gasps> wanted to send them to anybody. And literally the questions are like, have you ever heard of this business before? And like, will you be shopping here in the future? And then okay. she's like, okay, blah, blah, blah. Now I just need to know like the name of the person you want to send them to. <gasps> and you can do like a little voice memo that we send. And then like all of the guys send it to, like, to other to women. To a different woman? Yes. <gasps> and then their current partner is on, on the, the phone. phone with them. And then a guy uh, chimes in it's crazy. and is like, hey, uh, I just wanted to chime in and let you know, like your significant other is on the phone right now. And like, they always stay on the line and then they like talk and I'm like, I would hang up immediately. <laughs> Dude. So that's why oh some of them God, I think are dude. like kind of staged because oh. even if I got a phone call saying I could send free flowers to my wife I'm instantly like it's yeah, a but scam like, you're I don't even smart. Like, these people are like, I feel like it sounds like an Australian. no it's America it's America yeah they I feel like, like I see a lot of Australian radio pranks you know <laughs> yeah they're like hey we got a bunch of roses here <laughs> yeah would you like it to send it to you <laughs> no, I love it I love Alicia? that Alicia okay and what's what's it? Yeah, and then Alicia. Katie gets on the line I, uh, yeah. such, I also have such a weird one-sided history with that host Oh. That calls. Her name is Shannon. I've told you this, but like it's you probably forgot because it's like the girl with dark hair. Yes. Okay. So I was obsessed with this band called Reliant K. Oh yeah. And oh, Matt, it's Reliant K. Sadie Reliant Hawkins K. dance. Yes. I always thought it was Reliant K. It's what? Reliant K. It's okay. He's not a Christian. Yeah, it's a Christian <laughs> band. You oh wait, is it? it? Yeah. Reli Reliant. Not Reliant. K. Reliant. Reliant. But it's an E, not an A. R E L I E N. Good point. -E it's Reliant, not Reliant. Reliant K. Is it? It's Reliant. Ooh. Yes, I've heard them like say it. I've <laughs> seen them in concert many times. Did. Okay. Uh, okay. What's I was Reliant a... mean? I don't know. I don't know what any of it means. What's Reliant? I think it's probably the biblical like I'm spelling. Like you're Reliant for... on something. I don't think that's how you spell that. You're okay, really... sorry. I, I didn't mean to interrupt. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my God. Now I want to go on a deep dive. <laughs> this, this is when I got my iPad. Wait, so let's hear it. Okay, so I was obsessed with a singer. His name is Matt Tyson, right? He was very cute, like whatever. I knew he was engaged, but then I knew their engagement got broken off. And I was so curious at the time. This was like, I was probably a freshman in high school or something. So I Googled her name because I knew her name was Shannon something. And so I was like, Shannon, blah, blah, blah. God I saw she it. had a, she was a host of a radio show, a morning show. And so I was like, oh my God, I'm going to go back to the date that I think, or I, I don't know. I found like some title of one of the episodes. I found like old episodes and the title yeah. was like, supposed to be her wedding day or something. So I listened to it and she never alluded to who the guy was, but obviously I knew it was Matt Thiessen, but he had cheated on her. <gasps> and she was basically saying like, today was supposed to be my wedding day. And like, it changed everything for me. Cause I was like, how could he do this? Or like, she's an amazing woman. It's just funny. Cause then Aaron sent me one of those like flower ones. I was like, wait, that's, that's the her. girl. Like she's still on oh, the radio. Whoa. Yeah, it was very crazy. I'm and crazy. So these guys <laughs> stay on the line after. Yeah to just be what do they say like just hey chat. sorry uh i thought it was, i'm sending it to my i think it's coworker. mostly like excuses or like well i don't know i just yeah like uh one of them was like a trainer right she's just she's going through a hard time and i thought it'd yeah, be nice like, to send her i just her wanted flowers. to say thank you for, oh like, their excuses are so dumb yeah. um That's okay it says reliant k is named after a car called the plymouth reliant k car how's it spelled with an a okay with the spelling intentionally altered to avoid trademark uh, infringement. Oh, they want it to be Reliant. Over the Reliant name. See, could you guys imagine if I didn't have this iPad? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'd just be using your All phone. All you do is yell at me. <laughs> and here I am. Oh, man. That's actually Come so interesting. I never thought about that. Yeah, I, that's Reliant. so I never I've thought. literally never thought about it once. Reliant K. <laughs> this whole time. Reliant. They were, they were always on like MTV2 and like they, they were mm -hmm. pretty popular. 
Yeah. Reliant. I'm begging you. Um, I'm begging you to be my escape. God, that's... Oh, I was going to say, these the phone scams that people get themselves into, though, did you read that article about the woman who, like, put $50,000 into a duffel bag and handed it to someone? <laughs> what? Oh, this is, no. like, a huge news story. I'll try and tell it quickly. But basically, this woman's, like, a financial columnist for a major magazine. Yes, I know about this. Okay. Yeah. So she's, like, the financial reporter for a magazine. She gets a phone call. For, like, Bloomberg. Yeah. It's, like, a real, like, prestigious, like, national news organization. I can't remember what it is. We can put it in the description or whatever. But she gets a phone call. I can look it up on my iPad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, people can figure it out basically she gets a call and the call is like hey uh we're the cia and your bank account's been used <laughs> in criminal activity and your assets are all going to be seized and she's like what the fuck and she's like yep your account is like going to be seized you're going to need to go to court all the th 50 500 dollars in your bank account it's going to be frozen and it's going to be inaccessible to you and she's like yeah okay yeah right you're scamming me and she's they're like no look up the number we called you from google it so she oh, googles no. the phone number and it was like the cia headquarters they had spoofed the number that they called Damn. her from i'm so sorry but like the cia is not calling people well, no. like they, they're, they're showing so up good at, at the your social door. engineering no, of, of course like, i understand they, that they but knew like, like her last four of her social they knew her address they said your husband was working here blah 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 and they kept her on the phone for like four to five hours passing her from like, Jesus. they're like, all right, we're going to send you, like, we're going to send you now to our like fraud department. And they transfer to someone in the fraud department. And she's just like for hours and hours and they don't let her hang up. And what they essentially tell her to do is like all of the money in your bank account <laughs> is going to be seized. So you need to go to the bank and you, you cannot tell the bank tellers why you're taking this money out <laughs> because the bank tellers could be Bro. in on it and used against you in a court of law. And like, we're just trying to protect you. Could be in on it. So like, she on. goes to the bank, takes out $50,000 in cash from her account, puts it in a bag and is like, okay, we're going to have one of our like agents meet you in a parking lot. She goes to the parking lot, hands the bag to an agent, guy drives off, hangs up. And she just like snaps back into reality. And he's like, what the fuck did I just do? And then she goes on the news to say this story. I just couldn't believe she's the financial advisor. I know. You, out of all people, yep. should be a little financially literate yes. <laughs> and understand what scams are. Yeah, no. But they're I, I so think I good. Like, commented on that was like, this lady's an idiot. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Be, if it was, if you it don't was, like if it was like a grand, you. if it was a grandma, I'd be like, this is such a sad story. I just was like, how could this woman of this job in this qualification this experience dude they probably they've, like they've done this routine probably thousands of times and yeah. every like every time someone goes eh i think this is a scam i'm hanging up they go okay so they hang up at this point in the conversation how do we fix that and they just their yeah. social engineering has got to just be <laughs> through the roof but i was going to say also just as a note like deep fake videos and all that shit is coming out so soon oh. people are going to be getting phone calls like our parents will get phone calls with From our us. voices being yeah. like, can you please transfer the fifty thousand dollars to this bank account? Like, um, I've been kidnapped. That's like, why you need to make like safe you, words. Yeah, safe yes. word that it's the word that only you banana guys pudding. Know. <laughs> also, she works for the cut. The cut, but she's the financial columnist. Yes, there. is it the cut? I swear it was Bloomberg. No, it says Charlotte maybe Powell's it was just a financial fin advice column columnist for the cut well they need yeah. to cut her off <laughs> of that team <laughs> uh, i mean uh, yeah I, it's hard to say like what you would do yeah, yeah. because i'm like no i could way. see you panicking yeah if you get a call and then you google it and it says uh cia headquarters langley like, virginia why are you calling me like that's my thing it, it, like your bank usually never calls you the irs will never call you that is you're that, correct yeah. the calling part is part of the scam yeah never that's why i never even answer phone calls even if it's like from my bank i don't believe that it's my bank 100%. they will find a way to contact me yeah. even emails too yeah. oh you got to be concerned the emails are so funny Pay, it'll say, or they'll make it seem like people are logging into your PayPal account. You're about to get scammed. But if you yeah. look, the L is really like a one. Yep. And never click just, any links. Just always go to the website itself. Yeah. Well, and if you look at who it's coming, always look at the email address. But even still, the email address could be like at PayPal, but the L is really a one. So it looks like it's PayPal.com, yeah. but it's actually not. Who knows, though? We're going to be like the next boomers and we're going to be falling for all of these yeah, scams because yeah. we think we're so hip on the time when you very... have to like buy your starbucks with the roblox app or something and like roblox, roblox? i, I think don't know I how to use we're gonna this be like shit. face probably id there's gonna be like something f what i could probably fall for something roblox 
I don't even know what that is. That's you, what I'm you saying. You are so Roblox. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that like a game? Yeah, it's like games kids In Minecraft. play. <laughs> okay. Hey, gang. Hey. Here's my <laughs> dilemma. So two of my friends and I started our own little book club. And for our first read, we're doing My Year of Rest and Relaxation. Oh, oh nice. By the way, highly recommend it. Especially for you, Carly and Erin. <laughs> My year of my year rest. We deserve that. You're right. <laughs> Anyways, I have is the this book. a nonfiction book? Yes. No, mm-hmm. it's, oh, no well, fiction. It's like a, fiction. Kind of a yeah. memoir? I don't know. No, it's, no, it's fake. It, it's, it's just fake. a completely made. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think so. so. Yeah, that's all I read. <laughs> Anyways, we hang out about once a week, so decided to have our meetings whenever we hung out. Long story short, my friends didn't finish the reading by the time of our meeting, but Uh-oh. no biggie. It kept happening, though, so I took it upon myself to just continue the book. I'm pretty much done with the book, and I haven't told them. Should I confess or just let them think I'm on the same page, literally, as them? <laughs> Matt, Am did I you the write asshole? this? <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> I know. Am I the asshole? I'd like your take since you're all in book clubs. Except Mike. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Ooh. Yikes. Um, okay. Wait, so I she's asking if she should pretend that she read it? That she didn't. Like, to be like, ooh, I oh, wonder what happens. didn't read it. Yeah, because she's but ahead, yeah. and they're all, like, let's say they're all on chapter six. She finished the book. Should she participate as if she's they on ha- chapter six? They're having or- book club meetings, like, halfway through the book? Mm-hmm. Like, like, once a week, week, and I think they just chat about they pro- it. Or they probably, like, too read, often. A, read two chapters, and they they discuss, like, every few chapters. But Not everyone reads like a full all- book. Yeah. I think you should... I mean, unless you're reading Infinite Jest, I can see like meeting like every. Once well, I think they're just they're not like having like book club meetings. They all just hang out at least once a week. So they're like, oh, we'll just like do little chats about where we're at in the book. Yeah. What, what would lie. be wrong about her being like, oh, I actually read like a lot. No more. idea. You know what I mean? We'll just be like, I already read it. You guys can talk, but I'll wait for the final discussion. Yeah. And I wouldn't even judge anybody in a. Uh, oh, you fell in love with the book so much that you read ahead. You were really like on. Like I don't <laughs> would never judge somebody for reading ahead. But at the but same time, you would be pissed if they were behind. Oh yes. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Stick with the group and but be don't, a part of but it. But don't come into the group being like when they're talking about it, like, oh well, wait till you see what happens oh, yeah, in chapter do ten. Do like don't totally. be Oh, I read it and you guys don't know yet. Like that, that's that book isn't that big though. I mean it's probably like three to four hundred pages. Well, don't judge the speed of them reading. <laughs> Well, here we are bullying me again. Okay. I'm entitled to my own opinion. <laughs> okay. No one is I think you should that... change the structure of your well, I don't you know. You're I'm, bullying people for not reading as I'm, fast as you. When I'm halfway, and I, because I'll always say, like, kind of where I'm at to make sure the group's kind of held accountable, at least Connor and I do. And sometimes Connor and I, if we realize we're ahead, me and Connor will go have separate private conversations about the book. But that's the way you do it. Yeah. Well, they I'm just do offering where they... a little bit of advice. Oh, a little extra justice meetings with the, with the yeah. head crew. Okay. I also feel um, like if I was ahead, and I was pretending not to be ahead, I would accidentally like spoil it. Oh, spoil something because yeah. I would ha- not remember like what I have. She killed herself to you. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Did you just spoil that actual book? No, I don't oh, know. Oh, oh, thank God. Not. For the I don't know. Book club. <laughs> I don't know. It was only a year of rest and relaxation. I, uh, I kind of like the idea of a weekly book club and you read a couple chapters and. It's, it's more on pace, I feel like. Yeah. Just because you're. Versus like, oh, we have to read the whole book in a week. Or two That's weeks. A lot. Yeah. We get, we get, well, when we do it, it's like a month. Yeah. We do like a book a month. Yeah. But they're doing it like chapter by chapter, which I kind of think is fun because then it's like, it's almost like watching a TV series yeah. together. It's well, like, in like our group chats, we'll like text and yes. you can do like the invisible ink. Oh, that so it's is like, my favorite feature. So you can oh. like say on page whatever. And so then when people finally get there, you can like undo it. That's the undo best it. way to tell jokes via text too. Yeah. Because normally like if you have a punchline, then that's the latest text that they see. Yeah. So you ruin the joke. But when you send a joke, send the punchline with the invisible ink, oh, it hits every time. Yeah, <laughs> it does. It's oh, one it's of my funny. favorite inventions. That's a good call. I, I feel like, does anybody else do that? Did I just come up yeah. with that? No, Did you're I very, the you're very the good at doing it. I just don't think I I, I, yeah, I feel like I get you a lot oh, with that. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I love it. You're the king of invisible ink punchlines. Punch Little lines. inky. Okay. Am I the asshole for not reaching out to my grandmother? Ooh. Mima, technically, LOL. Mima? Mima. M-E-M-A. Mima? Mama Mima? She licked my fingers when I was yeah. <laughs> These nanas. So Christmas Day, 2023, we had planned for me to go to my dad's house for Christmas Day. My grandmother lives there too. 
Come the day of, I found out I was exposed to COVID from another family member who flew to town for the holidays. I wasn't showing symptoms yet. I later tested positive and got very sick. But the tea here is that I called my family to let them know I'm not sure coming for Christmas was a good idea. I was exposed to positive COVID. And if I did come, I should wear a mask and stay far from everyone else. This was the best I could offer, really. With no answer to this question, I showed up late, Christmas gifts wrapped in hand, masked and sanitized, with the underlying feeling people were mad with me for some reason. I walk inside to find them in their bedrooms. Presents were already done amongst everyone, except my small plate of wrapped pr- pile of wrapped pl- presents in the corner of the room. My grandmother did not even speak to me and showed anger towards me saying hello to her. I ended up leaving the house and leaving the wrapped gifts for everyone I brought and the gifts that were meant for me. Fast forward to March 12th, 2024. We still haven't spoken and she refuses to speak to me because I ruined Christmas, question mark. Am I the asshole for not reaching out to my grandmother to figure things out slash or be the bigger person? Ooh. This is complicated. I think. Well, it's not. Uh, sounds like you have a really tough, like, just boomer ass, like, grandma. Can I recap this quickly? <laughs> sure. This girl got COVID. Her grandma came. She didn't want to get her grandma sick, so she hid in the other room. They didn't talk, and the grandma's like, what the fuck? No, she came to Christmas. So what? where did the beef like, start? She was, like, masked up and she, stuff. I think that. Um, like, where's the beef? I don't know if, like, this is what's confusing to me and where I feel like you should have had a conversation to get clarification. I don't know if they're mad that she came because she had COVID or if they're mad that she didn't come even though she had COVID. Yeah. There's no real clarity here. That's or why was they like, just when annoyed the, she was like wearing a mask and shit? No, because and, they were all done with Christmas by the time oh, that she showed up anyway. Oh, okay. Pardon Communication me. is key for everything. Yes. So you just need it. Whatever it is, speak it out. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm assuming they're upset with her for like taking COVID seriously. That's what it seems like. Yeah. I get that vibe. Right? Me too. Like. Oh, like, why didn't you come to Christmas? Yeah, like uh, that is a more of a boomer mentality versus yeah. like, I can't believe you would endanger your grandma like that. Especially because yeah. no one texted her back. I mean, when she told them and was like, "Is it still okay if I come?" No one said anything. So then she just, you know, masked up. Well, I guess. Yeah. And then when she got there, they were already done with Christmas, so they were essentially like, "Well, fuck her." Maybe they were like, "Yeah, don't come." <laughs> but they didn't tell know. her that. I know. Like, it sucks that they didn't say anything. So at least she would have an idea if. And she still hasn't talked. Does she? Have still you asked s- anyone? <laughs> oh, you you should sit down and just ask your mima. Like, mima, are you mad at me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is this Meemaw. does this have to deal with Christmas? Because we can talk about that, mima. Yeah. Totally. Like, She's your mima. You have to have that conversation. Yeah. She's gonna be all stubborn and passive aggressive. Prepare yourself for the worst. Yeah. But just be like, well. You know, I'm your granddaughter. I love you so much. I want us to have an open conversation, and it doesn't make me feel good when you're being cold to me, Mima. I didn't want to potentially kill you, Mima. Yeah. Because I love you. Do you understand that, Mima? <laughs> Mima? <laughs> oh God, Mima! <laughs> <laughs> Mima, come back to us. <laughs> yeah, she might not have much longer. No. Mima, I no. killed her. But I, I, I don't know. Don't be scared. Uh, you? How old is she? This girl? We don't know. No idea. So, she's an adult. You don't need to be that scared of your grandparents, and I think it's important to have conversations with them. Or just don't... come in coughing up a storm, hacking up a lung, <laughs> shake her hand. <laughs> Grandma, how you doing? Good Grandma, to see you. Grandma, hopefully you'll be okay. <laughs> no, She's don't like, do that. I have that. COVID now, but I thought you didn't care. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then give her a nice little smooch on her little lippies. Oh, boy. So bear with me. My name is Jasmine. I'm a 27-year-old woman from Chihuahua, Mexico. She slash her. I always love flying and then seeing Chihuahua on the map. Me too. It's so cute. Um, rich. I've never seen that. <laughs> Ch- what, you rich? ever seen Chihuahua, Mexico? You say rich? No. When you fly Mexico? on the plane and there's the ma- Chihuahua, you don't have to fly over it. No, it's, it's just like on the map. Like it's a Mexico. Oh, I thought you meant flying over it. Well, well just hold flying on. over. When you're flying on a plane, do you not go on the map and kind of just like go around and see what's around you? Mm, Chihuahua's no. always really big too. Yeah. Like you don't even need to zoom in. Hmm. And I remember I was like. I didn't know that. Aaron, Aaron the place. didn't look at the map though. <laughs> the whole time. I, that's my favorite screen to have up on. It's that's just the, the map with the altitude and. But you don't sometimes like watch I, a movie. I can't have it on I the whole time. I watch my devices because I download. Yeah, stuff. I have stuff on my iPad and then I have the second screen uh-huh. with the. That flight drives information. me crazy though, seeing how much more we have to do. I know. I can't. I I have to. You know, it's like not looking at the clock and then yeah. time goes by faster. Not looking at the path of the plane. It's like two time and of the flight will go by 15. faster. You got to get on one of those Delta flights I was on that has all the little fun facts every time you fly over <laughs> I just something. just took Delta. Yeah, yeah. 
I like, but they don't have oh. it on all the flights. It's oh, only been on that, that one. Yeah. yeah, I would love that. I, I just been watching. I'm always checking the altitude, seeing if the pilot's doing a good job. Like, oh, we dropped 300 feet just now. Is, is <laughs> everything know? okay? You, is everything I okay? Up there? Temperature. I'm like negative 45. Yeah, burn. that's no, also. Yeah, I'm like, how? <laughs> I know. <laughs> so if I'm on this Boeing and the the door does come off, like it's gonna be so cold, <laughs> even Bundle more up. cold. Buckle up, baby. Um. Okay. My niece is having her quinceanera in July and she wanted me to be her godmother for the church ceremony that take, takes place that day. Initially, I agreed because I love her so much and I want to be a part of her day as much as I can. When I was a kid, my mom made sure I was baptized and had my first communion, which are two of the three requirements for being someone's godmother. The only thing that was left to do is confirmation and basically what the wor- what the word says, a ceremony in which you confirm your faith in God. At the beginning, I didn't mm-hmm. have a problem because I thought at most it would only be a couple of talks at church and one mass at the end. But when I began research on what I had to do, I was wrong. It's every Saturday for eight weeks, <gasps> three hours each. <gasps> Honestly, that seems short. Every Saturday for eight weeks yes. for three hours? For confirmation, yeah. It's pretty serious. No. You get paid? Who knows why? <laughs> no. What's the hourly rate but for this that? This is like doing like shul or no i'm you know i'm being funny it's probably okay. better this than what we had to go com- through confirmed you your, yeah confirmation in the I did it is, on it, Sundays, is it catered though. like no. I, that was the one thing i didn't do is i didn't get confirmed i did i bitch. did you did you wow. went yeah. so you did this every saturday for three no sundays we would go to sunday school and then you have to do like you had to do all of it like first communion there's all the like the reconciliation things. first communion reconciliation and then rely on k yeah. <laughs> i wish <laughs> Yeah, confirmation that fucking sucked. Okay. I actually think we had to do it on like Wednesdays. Yeah, there's like Wednesday yeah, night. That's usually when we would do CCD. Stupid. Now it's just an email. Confirmed. <laughs> yeah. Um <Party> bowl. <laughs> now here's the problem. I've been an atheist since I was 13. I was willing to do the confirmation like problem. when what? <laughs> Sounds like a problem. <laughs> yeah. When I thought it was something short and simple because I don't believe in any of that and it seems like not a big deal, just like just a little faking and I would be ready. But when I found out the time that I would have to spend in church listening to nonsense, I was shocked and very reluctant. Sorry. My family has known that I'm an atheist and even though they are Catholic, they haven't judged me for my beliefs slash non-beliefs, at least seriously. But this time everyone thought I was exaggerating that eight Saturdays and 24 hours of listening to the word of God was not a big deal, but I had to disagree. I literally am against most of religious teachings and what at the beginning seemed like a short amount of pain in exchange of my niece's happiness now looks like all out torture. So I have decided not to do it. But now my sister is extremely mad at me and my niece is disappointed. Am I the asshole for not putting on a brave face and going through it? No, I don't think so. No. Uh, I kind of disagree. What? Like you I don't kind think you should have to put yourself through that if you're not. It, well, if you explain like, hey, I don't actually believe in this. Do you still want me to do it? And they say yes. Then it's like you kind of got to do it as my view because it's more of just the commitment to them, not the commitment to like something you don't believe in. And the respect, I guess. Yeah. You of like, And you already them. said you were going to do it. So it sounds to me Hold like. Hold on. Sorry. Oh. I'm just confused. Why does she have to get confirmed? Just because to, for the baptism, what she wants if she wants to be the godmother in the ceremony oh, of the baptism. No, it's for her quinceanera. Oh, the quinceanera. Sorry. To go to it. You have to be confirmed. She, uh, no, she just wants. I it's guess. like a role no, she has to play. No, in just it. be her godmother. Yeah. I don't. I, I don't. Think, I think if she communicates to the family, like I guys, kind of I agree think this with is... you. Like if you, if you really want to be a godmother, but you don't like, if you're open about it, like I don't believe in this. But if you want me to do it, I'll do it. But I think it's crazy to be like you have to go. If she do all of this for eight weeks, three hours, you have to have eight weeks of your life. And she expressed deeply how much she just yeah. does not believe in like yeah. biblical readings and teachings and all of that. Yo, then just don't do it and accept that you're not you're not the godmother. Like, that, well, that's I, the point. It's like if you want to be the godmother, then it's not your decision to decide like this is what I'm I'm going to do or what I'm not going to do. It's like it's it's her decision. If you want to participate, participate. If not, don't expect to get the results. I don't think that she's expecting that. I think she's just asking like. I don't want to do that. Would I be a jerk? Oh, if so you're I saying she would just give up the whole thing? Yeah, she said I decided not to do it. Oh, so she Wait, already is decided. she the asshole for yeah. not doing it? Well, is there? No, mm, I don't think she's the asshole for not. No, doing it. yeah. No. If you don't want to do it anymore, I guess that's fine. But like, it does feel like a big commitment to also say yes to and then pull out of. Well, like, but she also didn't know that that she had to do all of that stuff. Oh, she just thought it was like 
Yeah, like she'd have to d- do sign like a, a paper little, one day. Totally. Um. Yeah. Then that's fair. I think even yeah. if it has nothing to do with their religious thing, like if you're like, hey, can you come sign a couple papers? Actually, it's you know forty hours of service over the next two months, every Saturday and Sunday. Like, like imagine if someone asked you to be a godfather and you were like, you're Jewish, but they're like, you have to go to Catholic. Blah, 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 every Saturday for yeah or it's eight like weeks, it's like, like hey can you watch my dog and it's like okay before you can watch my dog you actually have to go to like th- eight weeks of training camp <laughs> right. in order to yeah. watch my dog no, exactly that's where I'm like you know what that's the part of it where mm, it's too maybe much not. yeah yeah like less about the religious thing more just about the time commitment that's insane mm-hmm. yeah and I think it like both are kind of yeah it's probably sucks for her because she's just like damn I really wanted my aunt to be the yeah godmother. but you know it's, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. Wonder, God will forgive you. <laughs> You're still the aunt. I didn't know yeah. you had to do all so that. Sometimes I think godmother should be, I don't know. I Anytime mean, I my, think of godmother, I think of like fairy wings and a wand. I like, know. like a fairy god. I'm yeah. wondering if it's but the same. I always think like godmother should be someone that isn't like related to you, but like your parents' good friend that like. That's what I always they, thought it was. But then I found out I didn't have any. <laughs> is there a legal t- determination for what it is? Sometimes people think that like your godmother, if something were to happen to your parents, that they'd be the person to take care of you. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. But okay. But legal, sometimes it's like, not true. Legally that's speaking? Like legally though, like if my parents, or when I was a kid, my parents would say like, if something happened, you would go live with your aunt and now. uncle that you we You have know. to go live with your aunt and uncle now. <laughs> <laughs> but we'd be, I think we'd be part of that family like a little bit more. Yeah, that yeah. would be like. Are you still friendly with that family? Yeah, absolutely. How did their kids turn out? They're great. Oh my gosh, they're fantastic. Yeah. So you'd be, you'd be just as good. Um, yeah. <laughs> but my godmother is like my mom's childhood friend. Okay. Like her best friend. Hmm. But I wouldn't have lived with them. But I do think like godmother, like old school wise, is like someone. Is there a godfather too? Yeah. Do they have to be the same couple? Uh, like, could you have a godmother from one family and a godmother from a different family? Yeah. People That's do that a, all the time. Yeah. I think so. So then how does it work if your parents die? Who do you live with? Have you never seen that movie with um, Catherine not. Heigl? Usually you probably go <laughs> I don't think anybody's seen that movie with Catherine Heigl. Uh, actually, I bet a lot of people have. <laughs> Which movie? So Wish Upon a Star? No, it's um, her and Fergie's ex-husband. Oh. And they're they the both baby? the godparents. But they are not together. They are just like each other's, like both of the parents who died, they're friends. And then they wound up like falling in love. I was just going to say. And then they fall in love. Yeah. But they hated each other and they had to godparent the baby together. Interesting. So maybe you should go home and watch it. It's a pretty good fucking movie. I wonder, I always think about like an actress like Katherine Heigl or like some like not A-list, super famous, like super big um, actor or actress. Is there someone who's like, oh, Katherine Heigl is my favorite favorite actress of all time like i've seen everything she's done i, I just like i run the reddit for her i'm a fan like <laughs> absolutely for every single actor disliked. you think there's one? Oh, um like well does... it depends on certain uh, to certain scales of actors and actresses yeah i do think so but that's what i'm saying like obviously the biggest names brad pitt leo george clooney sure i'm saying Catherine heigl like, that does level? she have like a is there like how many people yes, there's enough rom-coms out there of Catherine heigl where for sure some girl out there is like I'm obsessed. Is with it her. just mm-hmm. one? Like how many people there on are planet Reddit? Earth? Oh, I bet you. How many Facebook groups like I love Catherine Heigl? There's probably at least <laughs> two or three out there with, with like, like a couple thousand. hundred people in it. Yes, yes. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, for Bradley Whitford, I don't know, but I want to be a member. I love him. Bradley Whitford or Annette Benning. Like I've not found enough like Annette Benning fans. As, yeah. Like, Did you watch the new thing? Apple Falls. I watched the first episode because we got invited to the, to the screening. Event. I yeah. loved it. Patricia finished the whole thing without me. Oh. And she said it was okay. Okay. So eh, I finished the curse though, dude. Good. We'll talk about it after. Oh, you didn't like it? It's just like I didn't it was like a masterpiece, it but it was so agonizing to watch. I just I think don't it's like, a good summary. Yeah. You finished it, Aaron? No, I had to stop watching. Oh, but that's but, but Emma no, Stone is TJ, phenomenal. TJ finished it and he was like, You're, "It's good that you stopped." Yeah. <laughs> Patricia, every time I had it on, was like, "What the fuck is it's this?" It's so uh, yeah. I love it. I want to watch it again. Well, I want to oh. see it now. I'm curious. Oh. oh, okay. I don't like different strokes for different folks. Kathy Higgs, am I the asshole for being too honest with my fiance's best friend's wife? Okay. I, 25 female, and my fiance, 29 male, decided to invite our friends for dinner to celebrate our recent engagement. We decided to have it at a local bar. All of his friends live in town, but only one of my friends lives close by, 40 minutes away. 
So it was his three closest friends and one of my friends. Two of his friends brought their significant others. Let's call them Patty and Carol. Okay. I only... Are they 54? It's yeah. my grandma's name. Yeah. Um, I it's only, my wife's name. <laughs> I only hang out with them if it's on a double date party or the guys are doing the same... Are doing something that we don't want to. Okay. Never do we make plans to hang out one-on-one -on -one like regular friends do. I thought everything was going great until we started talking about how my fiancé and I wanted to do a joint bachelorette bachelor party in Vegas. I invited Patty and Carol since their significant others would be going. Patty said that if she went, she would be sleeping with her boyfriend and not with me and my friends. Carol agreed with her. I got annoyed and told them that defeats the purpose of the bachelor party since it would be unfair to my fiancé to not spend to not spend room with her friends. I don't know what that sentence means. I was a few shots of tequila in and told them that I was only being nice by inviting them since none of my friends were bringing their significant others. I guess I repeated it a few times too many and Carol got offended. Was I too harsh with my words? Am I the poo-poo hole? The poo-poo hole. So what I'm gathering from the story is her. she was out with her fiance's friends. They brought their significant others. She hangs out with them all the time when they're all in a group together. And she invited them on the bachelor, bachelorette conjoined party. And the girls were like, well, we're going to sleep with our partners. And she was like, well, that's unfair to my fiance because like he didn't invite you and he should be spending time with his friends. Oh, And I, I guess see. it also, I've done joint bachelor, bachelorette parties before, but it's been like Vegas. And so you get a hotel room with your, I, like, I don't know what the logistics of what's the state. Is this all in the same house, but boys and girls are separate in different oh, rooms? That's right. a good this point. is like everyone goes to the lake. There's one lake house and you guys have the other lake house, boys, girls. I don't know the logistics of what the setup is. If you guys are all in the same house, I think that's a little silly. I think it's though kind of weird if it's like two Oh no, spots. I feel like they're probably in separate. I think so too. It's like when yours, yeah. like TJ stayed I did at this. a house close by. We yeah. had two separate houses. Yeah, yeah. And boys, the girls, girls stayed in the, yeah. 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 Okay, mm -hmm. well then if that's the case, yeah, keep them separate. It'd just be like, well, don't you, wouldn't you feel kind of weird that like all the guys and you come over every night while they're all up partying? That kind of defeats the yeah. purpose. Is this a couple doing this or a, someone who's not the main couple? The non-main couple. And this oh, is her husband's, not the main, yeah, no. this is her fiance's friend's significant other, right? You, She should talk to her fiance to talk to uh, his friend, who's his girlfriend, to be like, can you tell her that we think that they should be separate? She got to do some. Yeah. She just needs to do some more backdoor maneuvering yeah. if you want this vision to go down. I don't know if she's got. I think she down. was just asking, like, was her like bringing it up being annoying in the moment? No, you just I met don't her. Think so. Yeah, that's because it's true. It's like the guys are having a good time. Like, don't like it's and stay with the girls. Like, have fun. I think she's just you're nervous with your guy because every night. It's her bachelorette coming up, and she's yeah. just like a little frazzled. I think you're. She's oh, you're overlooking into it. You're overthinking it. It's also your bachelorette party. You get to set the rules. Yeah, she should respect it. There you when go. the time finally comes, you're probably months, months, months in advance before that bachelorette's going to happen. You have plenty of time to like. Even when you put out the invite, you keep it clear. Boys are going to be in this house. Girls are going to be in yes. this house. That's what the way of it is, everyone. Yeah, I mean, when we planned it, I didn't talk to the boys at all. <laughs> yeah. It was just, just unspoken that everyone knew yeah, that was the plan. But also it wasn't like his groomsmen weren't like, his their girlfriends were Aaron's Yeah, and So it was like kind of different, but still. It's but like, even if they were, like if I invited them, they would have been like, no, we're staying with you. Yeah, yeah, of course. I think that's very weird to ha have someone invite you to their trip. And then you're like, well, I'm going to go sleep with my boyfriend. Sounds like a yeah. pick me girl, if you ask it's me. It's very <laughs> weird. It sounds like you don't trust your man. I'm gonna go in Vegas. I'm gonna go play poker Ooh. and smoke cigars with the boys. Later, <laughs> girls. Loving with the boys. Girls are too dramatic. Yeah. Oh, the girls in the other cabin are just too much. Oh, just I'll drama. You guys. you guys are so chill. The men are chill. Men are so chill. All right. Well, thank you so much for writing in your Am I the Asshole? So feel free to write in more too. We can do more episodes. Yeah, if you I think like it's, this. I think it's fun because it's you guys, which makes it so weird. <laughs> for yeah, me. yeah. Actual people that listen yeah. to this and watch. Because when we read them from Reddit, it's usually like we also no problem tearing someone apart. But then I I'm like, oh, did you guys get the notification? It was like uh, your episode is limited ads yes. because of the sexual content and yeah. i immediately was like no it's not sexual it's just because well, the title is are you the a-hole oh. or, or it was like re re reviewing content. your am yeah. i the a-hole am i the meanie yeah and then it was well, like after I, review I, I was like no it's it's just a reddit thread i yeah. promise it's not bad at all and like within 10 minutes they were like okay you're fine yeah okay. but it's we, fine. when i upload only friends every time there's like a 
yellow money sign yeah. and I always review it, it and yeah. it normally goes to green. Yeah. But we yeah. do curse a lot. So it's within I, the first 10 minutes they don't want you to curse. And then that's also it. that's just never gonna happen. <laughs> they just can't happen. All right, we'll see you next week, everybody. Right. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.